Hello everybody, welcome back to another Risk of Rain. Hopefully, I mean, I'm having bad luck today, man. I've been trying to record this for the last 15, 20 minutes, and I just keep getting shot upon, shall we say? Or as my last death says, uh, get styled upon. Because, you know, style. And if this fails, you'll never see this video. But if it succeeds, I will have successfully found some kind of build that works with the Enforcer because his movement speed leaves a lot to be desired. Running glass though with certain characters, dear lord, is it freaking hard. <sighs> Wandering Vagrant. Okay, we can handle this as long as we don't have to stop moving. How did that hit me? Okay, hold on. We're gonna do a little roundabout on this. Down here. Now, I do know the shield does have trouble blocking certain attacks. I think the Vagrant's things is one of those things that it has trouble blocking. We're going to a whopper, critical low health enemies. Which will help us in the late game. Now what we need We really need those in infusion. Which we won't get from this, but we can get at least get a crowbar from this. Oh, you want some of this? You want some of this? I killed your daddy. Now I'm your daddy. Okay, first things first. Attack speed. And goat hoof. Because you need to move faster, buddy. You gotta move it, move it. Oh, you're gonna lose it, lose it. Short range, but it does hit multiple enemies. Now. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ugh. Now. We got ourselves a decent startup this time. I didn't die to something stupid. For like the seventh time. I don't know why I hit that. Yes, I am only playing on the normal difficulty, but that's because I am trying to learn different characters, and I know it doesn't change anything of the actual progress of the game except for how fast it goes, so there's that. But progress shall be made. We can get ourselves the first crowbar. And he doesn't have enough jump to get up there. Still have to find out what artifacts I'm missing and what to go for. I know I have this artifact already. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. See? Move speed on this guy is just atrocious. Don't you smack me with your claws, bitch. Oh, I opened it up. Shield Bash is the back one. Okay, let's see what we get. Please not Giant Worm. 
At least not till I get more health. Oh, we don't have an infusion yet, do we? Shit balls. Grenades to the face, bitch. Nope, not happening. Now, here's where we go. Badunk! Okay, blocking that was easy! Oh god, that was painful. Ah, ah, no, no, no. Shit balls. I can't even grab the items yet. Jesus. Are you done yet? No, you got 10 seconds left to spawn shit. First things first, our infusion. Uh, yes. Ceremonial dagger. Now we're off to a good start. We're gonna get all the health. We're gonna try to go one full loop. And see how things go. So how's everyone doing there out in the land of uh, YouTube's watchings? Where you having, wherever you happen to be from? Me, kind of lousy actually because I've been trying to do regular streams, but a couple days I've just been sleeping too long, or I don't know. It's one of those things where trying to juggle work and entertainment is not been so kind to me. But I'm making it work on some level. Which if anyone's interested, I've been streaming uh, Blade and Soul recently. Pretty much anything, but Blade and Soul is the most recent thing that's come up that I've been streaming out. Interesting little game. Doesn't seem to break any uh, kind of pay to win for free-to-play MMO standards. I mean, the PvP really does seem like it's an afterthought. We definitely need to get ourselves another crowbar, though. I don't, don't, don't think I have this, uh... Artifact, and I forget how to activate it. Oh well. Oh, shit. Like I said, I'll do that on my own time when I actually remember to play this game off of recording. And of course, we have the broken bridge, which is. Always handy dandy. I have to go through there, I think. Not dying to you, you son of a bitch. You can just stay there. Think about what you've been trying to do. Is this the, the piggies? Nope, it's not the formidable piggy spot. Screw it, we're going in. 
Ah, uh, this is the targets one. Cannot do it with this character because there's a time limit. And I just fell down. Yeah, I think that's what I'm missing, but... I don't get it, I'm not sure. Oh, there's the portal. No, don't you dare hit me, Colossus, man. Oh god, uh... There we go. We definitely need the jetpack on this guy. I don't want. Yeah, there we go. That's why I didn't want to touch it yet. Nicely aimed shot, if I do say so myself. We, want, we do want things closed, so let's go ahead and give ourselves a double barbed wire. And this one we will want... That's piercing shot. Uh, the mask will help us in the long run of things. So we got our two spirit items. This guy's jumping is still shit. But that's okay. That's quite alright. We can make it through. Oh, fuck, not this one. Okay, it's not gonna be that way. Not to say that this might not be the uh, minor unlock stage, but I already have the minor unlocked, as we know from my other video. Yep, this is, I think this is it. Because when it's straight down the left. Do, do, do. Already have this artifact. For those who don't know, the artifact you have to find three switches like that and hit them. So it's fairly simple. Not the magma crater. Oh god, uh Okay, I think maybe the magma crater would have been a better in comparison to my skills. Oh, we killed the mother with her own kid, own pigs. So sweet. And we get ourselves a use item. Oh, we already have an infusion, so. Take the the missiles. It's not a bad one to go for, especially if you want to try to stay localized. Our ghosts don't seem to be doing that much damage, though, which is concerning. I mean, they're not supposed to do a massive amounts of damage, but at the same time... Also, why is there a chest in there? And we're just gonna kill that like that. Oh, never mind, it's done. Uh, so now, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Spike strip? You know, with this character, yes. Okay, we have... Ooh, 
we'll do the we'll do the bazooka because we already hit everything in the line. But having that extra blast damage will help do the extra damage that we need. And we'll just stack another crowbar. So that's two crowbars so far. Doing good so far. <clears throat> Could have done better on the lopper probably, but that'll come in handy when we get to the uh, Providence. Now I'm no professional, but I'll try to give pointers out here and there for what I do know. Like having the homing missiles, it's always good to clear out things before they become a problem. And of course, attack speed is always something you want. Let's set things on fire. I don't want to set the world on fire. Just these assholes that want to kill me. And since we're in the oh, since we just got spawns, I'm just gonna grab a crowbar and run. Still up only up on hard difficulty, so we're doing okay so far. And especially with slower characters, I guess you want the extra homing attack. Okay, I do have that already. In fact, this is the exact same stage that me and uh, OEM were on. Hope you don't mind me calling that if you see this. Hopefully, we can both learn something from our mistake last time. Critical uh, chance to do double damage on top of the extra damage that we're already doing. Always a bonus. Okay, now you're just mocking me, game. That's the exact same spot it was before, I think. Maybe slightly to the left. Do you need to see if I can get a Tesla coil, though? Or, uh, not Tesla coil, but the, uh, the electric ring. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. And you can't knock her back. Uh, there it is. Kill things faster. Yes. Now I'm gonna go get that chest that dropped. Uh, chance of a bomb to go up? Yep. Given that things tend to stay close. Okay, we are ready to snowball now. Why is their hitbox not at their head? Oh god damn it, you're gonna tease me with that, huh? It's gonna make me go back every time. Okay, now we have plume which will give us another jump. Freezing particles though. So now we have all the surroundings. We have... We don't have the fire burst from taking massive damage, but we don't want to take massive damage. Uh, and like I said, we're gonna do full one, one full round. At least one full round, if not more. Plus we're about that on high difficulty, so... You know, we're gonna start this way instead. That's the good thing about doing a no randoms, no, no chests run. You can focus. Where's the tart? Or at least you go, go. Where's the, uh... Ah, uh, words, words, words. Where's the teleporter? There it is. Activate it. 
And, you know, now if you don't have the luck of having the chests, and you want to throw it up to random luck, that's one way you can do it as well. But if you're playing the game normally, you want to, and probably better, dis better displayed in the uh, original, but like, you want to pace out your time spent acquiring money versus time spent It real quick. Uh, nothing really screams to me. That's a that's a healing item. You use it to heal yourself in a pinch. But uh, oh, here's what I was talking about. Hidden uh, hidden la hidden ladder. I was screwing around with the Vagrant on, on the way, so that was my own fault. We're just gonna ignore blue chests for now, or uh, orange chests. And we're gonna lose it, aren't we? Yep. Next on the uh, tier 3 items, though, I think we'll want a penetrating shot. Just to give us that extra range for every third shot. Go ahead and grab ourselves another crowbar. Uh, sticky mines. Here we go. Especially when it's the small vagrants, they just kind of die. Especially once they get certain range closeness. I forgot what the whip does. Move faster out of combat. That'll help us stay out of danger. And of course, this for this game, out of combat just simply means not being attacked. Ooh, not gonna pass up that though. Are we missing anything from T1 items though? Are we missing anything? Uh, bleed damage maybe. Although you can get the same effect from uh, the uranium rod. It's the dank caves, but not the dank memes. We do not talk about the dank memes, and especially we don't talk about caves and Dark Souls. Oh dear God, I've been playing Dark Souls mostly on my cell on my own time, but. Uh, on stream every now and then. And, well, let's just say the game has been royally pissing me off to some degree on certain stages. Which is why I don't stream it all the time. Still haven't figured out how to uh, play with people, because partially because I haven't found anyone to play with, but that having been said, it's always an option. Oh, don't you give that to me. Why don't you give me your sass? And by sass, I mean gas. Get this out of the way. Grab the hermit scarf. Oh, especially with the magma worm. We one shot that one though, it's double worm. Oh god, oh god. Okay, he can't go that far with it. Oh god. Yeah, he died to fire. That's that's ironic twist. Back myself onto the edge. How am I turned around? Oh god, I don't want to be up there.
Now here's the strong suit of the Enforcer. I can just sit back here and not take damage. Except I think that thing. Except I think that laser went through the shield, but... That's it? Okay, cool. Ah, uh, we got two chests in the same spot. I can tell because of the way this looks. Uh, we'll, we'll put up our natural health regen just a bit. As far as I know, the mortars do not stack for percentage chance. I could be wrong, though. Uh, more healing? Nah. A taser. Chance to snare an enemy on a hit. Grab another crowbar. When in doubt, just crowbar it. Uh, the wolf hat. I forget what that does. Critical strikes. Okay, so we get to crit more often. Alright, cool. And there's that. 25 minutes in, we're uh, just over halfway our second loop now. Next stage is going to be the uh, temple again. And then we'll head on to the, the ship. And on to the end. Give ourselves another crowbar. Not worry about the specifics of it this time. Because I think that's all we can do now is stack crowbars and hermit scars. And for those who don't know, watching this maybe, hermit scarf is a chance to completely evade damage. Which is helpful if you're, uh not having your shield up or your character that doesn't have the uh, invincibility frames to handle it. Now here's where we want... Well, we can't do it now. There we go. Uh, give ourselves a second jump. And there goes that bleed ticking in. Get ourselves another crowbar. Shoot that motherfucker in the face. Okay, well, grab that. More knockback can never hurt. Time keep her secret. Good save good thing to save your ass with. Which is probably what saved me last time on the first run where like we don't know why I survived but I just did okay now we're gonna do another I think I can get another stim in might that might yep that don't that one does stack but only stacks up to 200% Grab another barbed wire, extend the range. Kill this guy. Oh, we got another green? Shit. We got nice stuff going for us. Uh, Golden gun. Golden gun can be good, especially if you don't need the money. Helpful if you have the uh, life savings or anything that helps the enemies drop more money. Okay, we got this stage again. But now that we got the double jump, we can make jumps like that really easy. Okay. Nothing there. Usually isn't up there on this map variant, but in rare cases it is. I 
And there's knockback kicking in with knockback already on an attack. Nice little kit. Oh, it's just orange. Screw it. And there goes Spike Strip laying down. Kremator is in the house. It's the asshole that I hate. But at least he's right below, so I know exactly where he is. So I can kind of pace back and forth and avoid most of his damage. Kremator is a bad one to get if you don't know how to do it, and even if you do know how to do it, it can be bad. Right, that's the only spot he can spawn in in this variant because the uh, thing is drained on the other side. But the problem with the Kremator is, as I've stated in the video before, that's the one where his projectiles will hit you as they're traveling. Ow. Like that. What was my get? What? I don't know what I'm trying with this right now. I'm just trying to survive at this point. We'll worry about getting all that later. Now you don't want to be down there with him if you can avoid it. That's always a bad bargain. No matter how you cut it. Ooh, that actually was, okay. We want to be opposite of when he launches. So we want to be over here now. We're going to have to try it. Not the best thing to try to come down with him, but... Ooh. Okay, we got him. Not worth the risk. Not with the damage that we take right now. That's what you do, you just play cautious, play it safe, and of course, crowbars for days. Gordon Freeman has nothing on this. Now let's stack some more Hermit Scarfs. Make this another Hermit Scarf. And two more crowbars for the road. We're up to 17. Revisit the last stage again. As far as loops go for when we get, I get to doing Nuclear Throne videos, we shall see. So I think we have the optimal build for this guy. And that's the... Uh, this guy's weird to see is a gun and shares a build with melee types. Because basically, this is what you kind of want with the melee types. Maybe not the sticky bombs so much, but attack speed, health regen, knockback to a degree, timekeepers is good for everybody, infusions are good for everybody. Kind of just fill it out. There are some items that aren't good for anybody because they don't really contribute much. But, you know, that's the rule of the game. Give me your piggies so I can damage you. Let's 
see what we get, what we get. Uh, we'll, just, we'll get some shackles, why not? Slow enemies down. We haven't had to use my shield actually in a while too, so that's something worth noting. Because once you snowball hard enough, you don't have to block as much, but it does help. Which basically means that I haven't even been shield bashing though. I don't know. I'm not, I'm bad at using my skills. We all know about this. Just bunker down. Let things come in and die. Another flying creature. And here we go. We're gonna head onto the ship next. Because we are, I think, well enough off. Plus we can always get more items in the ship. Granted, you can't stop as often. Let's do it. Let's go to the final level. The UES Contact Light. There's the name of the damn ship. Set it right there. It's like, oh, I don't know, it's this name of USC sub USS something. And there's the robot, which I already have unlocked, but that's how you unlock it. Make it to this stage, find that crate, open it. That's a red, I want that. Granted, I don't know what I want on it. Uh, hammer. Hammer time. Crowbar me. More crowbar. Crowbar is the cowbell of Risk of Rain. Always more. Okay, now I saw that chest up there. there. Which those are the only chests that will spawn outside of the uh, junk chests on the bottom. To the sticky bomb went into play there. That's a nice little area damage when it hits. So hopefully, we can keep our uh, Tesla thing up. But that gives us a uh, one free key card. You can get more than four. Not sure if that was shown in my uh, last playthrough or not. And of course there's that... Uh... That's in the middle of the platform. I cannot get to that. Now see, look how much damage we're doing to these guys with the one shot. Okay, one is opened. We got stabby stabbed, but we're okay. I do believe these have a small chance to spawn the uh, cards but not a very big one, if any. Now it is possible to fall out there and land on that. So that is the thing. That went through the floor. Ah, don't you dare. So we can one-shot those guys with a grenade now, that's good to know. With, what, 23 crowbars? That's easy to get with this though. Let's we'll see if we can get this. Guess we gotta go this way anyway. Oh, we can! Sweet. Give it to me.
Looks like we got fuck all down here. Yep. Fuck all down here is what we got. Uh, da da, this thing. Yeah, okay, Harvester Scythe. Okay, so that's a good thing to have if you have a crit for critting. With the guaranteed low crit crits on low health, though, that does help with that. But we've only gotten one key card so far, which is discerning. But if you only get one key card, get the Gauss Cannon. Unless you're feeling, uh... Not sure why these still spawn. And it's whatever. It's the same effect as a regular chest. We're not gonna remember that last chest because random items are random. So. Huh. Oh, they must, be crit must have created those guys that one time. Oh, God. Alright. Not gonna hand. Not gonna mess with that. In case those affect each other. I hate when you get the double stacked items. Oh god, get the fuck out of there. Uh Jesus, that was that was hairy. Unlike these alien species of skelly origin. Oh god! Ah! Uh, Dealing damage heals you. Anything that heals you is good, but... I think I'm gonna get this. Probably should've gotten that a while ago. Let's be honest. Max health! That's not gonna help us. All right, here we go. Here I am, Mr. Uh, damn, I said earlier. Providence. Okay, that's not working as well. Lesson learned. Sword swings are sometimes blockable. Right, there's the Gauss Cannon. We dodged that. Oh god. Okay, not doing so hot on the uh, damage front. All right. Here's we're gonna have to rely on our ability to not take damage. We can hit every section of the worm at once. Okay, 
the gas can should be coming up again soon. So that'll help us for a little bit. Ow. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, that was at least a good Enforcer run. We made it to the third stage of the fight. Not all that bad. We killed 660 enemies for the new record. Probably for the Enforcer only, but, uh... Yeah, there it is. We have a good, a good solid run. Four purchases. <laughs> Anyways, I will see everyone next time.